Hey everybody, Flamin' Jackson here. I hope everybody's doing alright this afternoon. Today I got a review slash challenge for y'all. And the reason I'm calling it a challenge too is I've never tried this before. But what I've heard from it is really salty and <laughs> has a unique flavor to it. So what I'm going to be reviewing today is Vegemite. You heard me right. Vegemite. That's what it looks like, y'all. And hopefully the lighting's alright, y'all. I got this from eBay, y'all. Um, I've seen other people review this and everything. And if I, if I, I mean, if I didn't say I was nervous, you know... <laughs> I am, y'all. I'm nervous. Words can't describe how I'm feeling and thinking right now. <laughs> but I am extremely nervous. But enough stalling. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to taste this by itself, y'all. And I, I got some crackers here. And after I'm trying, I might try a little bit on some crackers. But <laughs> I'm extremely nervous, y'all. But well, before I get started, I'm going to read its ingredients to y'all. Ingredients. Yeast extract from yeast grown on barley and wheat. Salt. Malt extract for barley. Flavor enhancer. Potassium chloride. Color E150C. Spice extracts. Contains celery, niacin, thiamine, riboflavin, folic acid. Alright, y'all. The moment of truth. Enough stalling. Lord have mercy on my soul. Hmm. It you can definitely smell the barley in this. You know what this sort of reminds me of, y'all? Soy sauce. Look at this, y'all. It looks like dark, like oil, like tar or something. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, better look appetizing. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, you know what I was thinking? I know Mother of Pearl don't taint sauces, but what worries me is this Vegemite going to taint this spoon? I don't know. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Ooh, boy. You can definitely taste the barley. It, it tastes... I'll tell you what it tastes like. It tastes just like beer. You took some beer, just concentrate the flavor of the beer, and just add a bunch of salt. That's what you got there. Whew. Very salty. I believe you can get this in like a low sodium, which it might taste a little better. Ooh, it's definitely salty. They're trying to kill people with that salt. <laughs> but all right, y'all. Just a second. Uh, I'll be right back, y'all. I'm gonna rinse this spoon off here. I'll wait to spray on this cracker. Thankfully, 
a lot of these because I'm on a keto diet, y'all, so I gotta watch my carbs. I've already managed to lose um, eight pounds, which y'all can probably see in my face. Uh, I can definitely tell a difference. I feel a lot better since I'm losing it. I'll probably just eat one or two crackers, that's it. You definitely gotta be sparingly with this stuff, y'all. It is. It's something, definitely. You gotta definitely use this stuff sparingly, as salty as that stuff is. Yeah, Alright. Now, I do have to say, y'all. On a cracker and using it sparingly, it tastes all right. But if you just eat it about a spoonful, whoo, wee, it is salty. Eat one more cracker, and that's all I want to eat them. Um, All right, I do have to say, first of all, when I took it by the spoon, it was nasty. It was salty. Um, it was definitely a unique flavor. But when you spread it on a cracker or something, it actually tastes really good. For flavor by itself, I would give it a, a price zero or a one for flavor. It was, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty nasty. But when you spread it on a cracker, and I mean sparingly, just put a little coating on the top of it, it actually tastes really good, y'all. So with it on a cracker, I'll probably give it probably about a 7 or 8 for flavor. It tastes pretty good that way. But I totally recommend y'all go out and, and get y'all some of this. It's definitely an experience that I'll never forget. Um, I won't be eating none of this plain no more, but I probably will eat it on so, uh, some different foods or something. But plain? No, I'm not doing it no more like that. That was nasty. <laughs> But uh, what, what I say, uh, what makes it so nasty, though, to me, is it's where it's so salty. I love salt. I do. But this, I mean, it is, it's got tons of salt. And like I say, it's got a lot of barley and, like I said, what, malt? What's up in here for us here? Barley. Yeah, it's got malt in it. So it's got the same things as in, you know, beer and stuff, so it, it does. It tastes just like concentrated beer. It's what it sort of tastes like by itself, but with a lot of salt. But on a cracker, it tastes excellent, y'all. It really does. And I'm not lying. On a cracker or something, or a piece of bread, this would actually be pretty good. But if y'all like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share. Make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be aware of any future videos that come out, y'all. Uh, make sure you click all. That way you don't miss any videos, y'all. Um, if y'all like this video, please share this video and let your friends know about it. Um, I love y'all so much, and remember, you are loved. We all are, y'all. We're so blessed.